Hey guys, Greg with Bright Spots here. Um, little little hack to uh, to help out when doing brakes. This is a 2012 Chevy Malibu LS four cylinder. Um, swapping out the pads. Should probably do the rotor also, but right now we're just doing the pads. Um, I am also doing the guide pins. Um, make sure that this is set so it doesn't fall. The guide pins right here. Getting them all greased up and whatnot inside there. Boots look good, so we're good there. Um, the piston on the caliper um, has these notches. Um, and typically what I do is I just use a big huge C-clamp um, and push them back in by turning the C-clamp. Well, with the Chevy, you can't do that. Of course, they need a, a, a different tool. They're discs that you can rent the, uh, the tool from Amazon or you can purchase them wherever you'd like, but I'll try to put a link in the uh, comments on how to what they look for or what they look like and what to purchase but if you can see the notches right there you need to have a tool that goes inside those notches you turn and you push at the same time and it pushes the piston back in well i have made a tool with a 14 millimeter wrench and vice grips to do just that and how did this come about i was in a pinch um, i had no idea that to um, compress the uh, caliper piston, you had to have that tool. So I made that and it works really well. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to show you this. So let me see if I can uh, swap out the um, phone with a stand so you can watch this. So yeah, we're taking this tool Get a 14 millimeter uh, wrench, pair of vice grips. And I hope to goodness you can see this, but you're gonna put the wrench inside there, those holes, the notches, and you're gonna spin, and you're gonna spin while pushing at the same time. Try a different angle with the camera here to see if you can see that better. You can see the wrench inside. Let me change my light here a little bit too. Sorry. This is definitely a challenge. To film and do this at the same time. But I think that looks good. So the wrench goes inside those two notches. Hold it because you don't want to mess with the brake lines and push and turn at the same time. Like I said, I was in a pinch and could not figure this out and I was like, well, you know what? Let's see if we can get something to go inside there and I got it. Is it ideal? Probably not, but it's working. I'm just trying to figure out why, why can't they just, all manufacturers do the same thing? What's, what's the, excuse me, what's the benefit of being able to manufacture pistons and calipers like this, where you have to push and turn in, I don't know. Anyways, we're almost there. Like I said, I hope you can see this come down a little bit. Actually, let me try to get you a little bit closer. Might be better. And... We're golden. Awesome. So I hope this helps uh, somebody else out there um, that comes into the doing a 2012 Chevy Malibu LS four cylinder, 14 millimeter wrench, vice grips for compressing the piston on your caliper. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.